differences between the EDC and the EXL. What's up guys, Cam here from Harker Outdoors and behind me are two Harker campers. An EDC, that's our Harker Outdoors show truck. And over here, we've got an EXO and this is on uh, Armando's truck from Outlandish Overland. Go and check his page out, that's Outlandish Overland. The purpose though of today's video is we wanna go over a comparison between the EXO and the EDC and we wanna cover things like setup, interior space, how you access the camper, bedding storage and those kind of things. So we're gonna go back and forth between the two campers and really give you a good breakdown of the differences between the EDC and the EXO. So let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start first here with the Harker EDC. And we're gonna start with the setup of the camper itself and how that differs with the EXO, okay? So when we designed the Harker EDC, we wanted to have a standing entry, which means there's no rear crossbar here in the interior of the camper. That necessitates removing this rear hatch of the camper, which I'm gonna show you now, in order to set up the camper. Comes off like this. And as you know, or may not know, the rear hatch of the camper turns into a tabletop on the side of the camper. Use these lines here, like so. Silky smooth. And then uh, the next step here, we'll climb up on our canopy. and open the camper. Reach in, pull out this hoop, and as you may be familiar, lift away sleep platform. So as you can see here with the EDC, I'm able to just walk into the camper from the tailgate. No crossbar here, which is a difference between the EXO and the EDC. So I'm gonna zip my tailgate annex in, just to show you, I'm just gonna do one side, and that's just to show you a major difference between the EXO and the EDC, and that is in the EDC, we enclose the tailgate. So the tailgate becomes part of the interior of your camper and uh, gives you just, you know, in a five foot truck bed, which this is, it gives you about 30% more interior space that you can use even with the sleep platform in the down position. You still have all this room to get down, get dressed if your partner's sleeping uh, or for whatever reason. So you have that there. All right, let's talk about the difference between the sleep platforms between the two campers. Here in the Harker EDC, you've got a sleep platform that is 90 inches long and 58 inches wide. It lifts up to the ceiling like so, and I'm able to walk into the camper all the way to the back of the camper and I've got all this standing room. I'm also able to stove five and a half inches of bedding on top of the sleep platform. All right, one thing I wanna mention that is a, a similarity between the two campers, and that is when they're closed down and driving down the road, they're gonna look almost identical. You've got the, the sidewalls with the L-Track for gear storage. You can see between the two campers, they're very similar. Now in a full size, you will have a bit of a jog uh, in the sidewall that, that uh, tapers in, but as far as you know, comparing two mid-sized campers, to the untrained eye, they're gonna look identical. So uh, next, we're going to set up the EXO camper and show you the differences there. All right, next we're gonna set up the Harker EXO here on Armando's truck. And one thing you'll notice right away is just how quick the EXO sets up. Whereas with the EDC, it's about a 90 second setup time. The EXO is like three seconds. So check this out. It's just two latches, a light push on the lid, and the camper is set up. And uh, from here, we're gonna show you a little bit uh, in the differences of how you can access and enter the camper. So, um, unlike the EDC, the EXO doesn't require you to remove the rear hatch. Now you still can, it's still got the latch hinge that is removable and you can still do the, the hatch table setup like we've done on the EDC, but not required. So you can see here to access the EXO, the first way you can access it is just across the tailgate similar to the EDC with the exception of the rear crossbar. So it's a little bit more of a duck to get in, uh, but not bad by any stretch. Now you can see here, unlike in the EDC that has one bed platform, this is a split system 
with two sleep platforms or two pieces of the bed platform, a smaller one here uh, and then your larger bed platform here. But they both lift up and out of the way up to the ceiling. I'm gonna stand up inside so you can see that I've still got all the standing room inside with the major difference being I don't have the tailgate space, but it's got this compact, quick setup feature and it's just kind of really two awesome options between the two that you can choose from, whichever works best for you. All right, so with the EDC, you've got the one way to climb in that's up and over on the tailgate into the camper with the X. So you actually have four different ways you can get in. I showed you first, you know, up and under the hatch. You can also climb in right here up over the top uh, from the front of the camper. This uh, is a door. And then the third and fourth ways is from either side. So um, a ladder is optional with uh, ladder mounts here and you can just climb in from the side into the XO that way. So that's an also an interesting difference. So let's talk about the sleep platform. In the EDC, you've got a 90 inch by 58 inch wide sleep platform. In the XO, you have a 100 inch long platform. So it's actually perhaps counterintuitively, the sleep platform is slightly longer in the XO, but it's in two pieces. So you've got a 20 inch slice here and then an 80 inch slice here. One of the cool things is you can use this smaller slice as like a standing desk or an area to prepare food or whatever else. And I can look out into the uh, outdoors there. Um, this can be folded up and then you can pull down the main sleep platform and then climb up into bed here. So this is an 80 inch by 58 inch sleep platform here. You can still see massive room there with just the one larger slice. So you could pull this uh, smaller piece up to get down in the morning if your partner is sleeping. And then of course it lifts up and out of the way when you want the standing room. So that's your difference uh, between the XO and the EDC on the sleep platforms. Next, let's talk about the lid, the storage element here in the lid. So the XO camper comes with just a, a two inch lid and so there's not a lot of room for storage whereas the edc allows for five and a half inches of storage for bedding it's tough to get everything into that exo lid but one of the cool things we do is we offer the ability to um swap lids so you can use the you can actually order your exo camper with the edc lid which is what armando has done here so he's got that storage here you can see he's able to close his camper with his hess mattress in place there so um that's another interesting difference between the two. All right, so in conclusion, we've showed you a few differences between the Harker EDC and XO today. The sleep platform, the setup, how you enter the camper, the interior space, storage, all of that. But let's close this out by talking about some similarities. The biggest one is options and accessories. So whether it's a dirt circuit kit, gear on the outside, awnings, gas cans, you name it, molly panels, windows, all of those things are universal. So you can add those on an EDC or an XO. The only exception would be the roof crossbar brackets, which are only available on the EDC lid. So there you have it, your comparison video between the Harker EDC and XO. We hope this helps you make a decision. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. The phone number's on the website and we'd love to build one for you soon. Take care.